basically this week I've been working on the uh, level editor. This would hopefully make the pipeline run a lot smoother and, and quicker. Um, I've tried to make it as simple as possible to use so that the artists can construct the levels themselves instead of us programmers doing it. Um, basically you open up the level editor, you've got the level, the level selection, the scene selection, and then each item in each scene. So if I go between the scenes, it loads it, shows you exactly this this screen here is the same resolution as the phone screen. Um, say for example, I want to move that swan, just choose the swan and put it where you want it to put it. Um, you can change the background images, um, add items, just drag them on, um, choose where the character enters and exits each scene, and then it saves them to a file. And then in XNA. I've got it so that it loads the file up and puts everything where it's supposed to go and all the physics is working at the moment so I've got a quick demo to show you on the phone just of that level um, level 1 you've seen so that, that was generated in the level editor and as you can see it looks exactly the same in game and the physics is all working so you can ram everything out of the way <laughs> and um, just change one variable in the in the game then, which which tells it basically which level and which scene to load up. Choose select, change that to scene two, and it should load up the second scene that you saw in the level editor. There you go, just how it looked in the level editor, and then it's just it's just a basic physics test to see if it's all working fine, and just keep on pushing things out of the way. As you can see, it's all working nice. So with this um, level editor in place, we're really, really hoping for a playable level by the by the end of next week, with all puzzles and platform elephants in, implemented. Hi, I'm Megan, and I've been working on the core mechanic for the gameplay for Full English Fusion. Um, basically, we've got a tap tap shake mechanic, which combines the English items together to um, get across obstacles. Uh, this is the start of the um, mechanic. Basically we'll be improving it so that you can drop and drag into action areas on the screen where the puzzles will be situated. Basically we've got two English items here on the screen, a cricket bat and a Queen's Guards hat. So you tap and that moves into the hood tap the second one which also moves into the head and then you shake the phone and it combines into a cricket bat hat which acts as <laughs> something that would trigger a lever for the doctor um, to help her get through dangerous puzzles. Um, we will be implementing breakdown and removal of items from the head and also as I said earlier dropping and dragging it into the actual gameplay.